Hey everyone, I'm Drex and this is the Two Minute Drill where I do three stories twice a week, all part of one great community, the 229 Cyber and Risk Community here at This Week Health. Today's drill is brought to you by Fortified Health Security. No matter where you're at in your cybersecurity journey, Fortified can help you improve your security posture through their 24-7 threat defense services or advisory solutions delivered through Central Command, a first-of-its-kind platform that simplifies cybersecurity management and provides the visibility you need to mature your program. Learn more at fortifiedhealthsecurity.com. Thanks for listening today. Here's some stuff you might want to know about. There are some good updates on CrowdStrike. Most of the machines that were blue screened last Friday are back in service at this point. Customers are rightly upset at the incident, but I can tell you that from in-person contact with dozens of CXOs in Long Beach, in Kansas City, and Dallas this past week during our 229 City Tour dinners, those customers were mostly upset because they felt let down by a product that had been so dependable for years. CrowdStrike leaders joined us for two of those city tours, and from my perspective, kudos on what might turn out to be a case study in crisis communications. By the way, the preliminary post-incident report is available. It's at CrowdStrike.com. The document describes immediate steps that have been taken, including additional testing steps and inclusion of multiple third parties to validate code release processes and to do end-to-end -end reviews of the entire product production process from development through deployment. They also have committed to publicly releasing the full root cause analysis once the investigation is complete. A cybersecurity audit of the Department of Health and Human Services Office of the Secretary, HHSOS, revealed several serious gaps in cloud security practices, giving potential attackers access to sensitive data and unauthorized control. The most severe issue, given a risk rating of critical, was a lack of multi-factor authentication for network access to three privileged accounts on one of HHS's cloud systems. I'm sure we'll hear more about this at some point. I'll keep you posted. The company behind ChatGPT, OpenAI, has launched SearchGPT for a very limited number of users and testers. Search GPT for now is a prototype, but if all goes well, it may let OpenAI tear into the core capability of Google, who launched Gemini earlier this year to, you know, take a chunk out of OpenAI. And finally, if you've not heard, the cloud security company Wiz is walking away from a $23 billion deal with Google to pursue an IPO. Thanks again to our Two Minute Drill sponsor, healthcare cyber partner, Fortified Health Security, with a 98% retention rate and three consecutive best-in-class awards. Fortified's exclusive focus on healthcare cybersecurity makes them the go-to partner for healthcare organizations wanting to strengthen their security posture. Find out more at fortifiedhealthsecurity.com. That's it for today's Two Minute Drill. Thanks for being here. Stay a little paranoid, and I'll see you around campus.